Best mom in the world. <laughs> Welcome home. Hey. Mm. 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 How was work today? Oh, let's see. Work was um, hectic. And then it was uh, hectic. And then it was uh, stressful. And then hectic. <laughs> but it's extremely rewarding. You know what? I honestly need a massage. Ready? Now? Like, right now? Are you free? Son, Dad, I need to attend to my wife's needs. <laughs> Ew! So much information. <laughs> so please, would you mind deleting? <laughs> no, my dear Dad, we're leaving. <sighs> um, make sure you go to bed in the next 30 minutes. Too much TV, not good for your health. Come on, Dad. I'm not a baby. Oh. Good night. Good night. Good night. About that massage. <laughs> good night. You want. So, what are you waiting for? A letter from above? Get to it! Just a minute. Oh, goodness. So, we have to wait 30 to 60 minutes now. <sighs> Millicent, please, not tonight. Don't spoil the mood. The, the mood is spoiled, obviously. I just wish. Yeah, I wish that, you know, we could be spontaneous, that you didn't have to use Viagra. It's been like this since we got married. So don't make it look like it's something new or that, that you're the victim here. Excuse me, I am the victim. Jackson, I am the victim. You didn't tell me before we got married. No disclosure. I, I found out after. Didn't I find that after? Answer! Tell the truth! Millicent, I have had a very long and tiring day. Okay? You wanted sex and I was ready to oblige you. But as far as I can see, you were just spoiling for a fight. But I'm begging you, please, in the name of God, for the sake of our son, can we have some peace? Please, let him not hear our voices. Hey, Alexi. Mr. J. You just vanished. I didn't see you again. I didn't know what to think. I was worried about you, about the children. Mr. J, I lost my mother. I went to the village. And when I left the police force, they've never paid my entitlement. You lost your mother and you didn't tell me? Oh, no, 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 I should have known at least. Anyway, she's been buried, right? Yes, yes. Okay, at least now that we've seen, I'll take care of everything. I was worried about these children. How are they doing? Well, we're trying. This has not been easy, you know. But at least health-wise, they're okay. 
Fantastic. Yeah, okay. So once we meet at the hangout, we'll discuss the rest of the issues. It was you. So it's really you? Hey, bitch, get down. I can never say anything. Get down. Oh, oh, who are you? Do you know who I am, bitch? I said get down. It's enough. We can share. Hello? What you know happening? I don't like to share. What who is, is she? Mike, who is she? You know what? You know what? <laughs> Really? Mike! Are you going to leave me here like this? Well, Mike. you want to fight, I'm going to fight! Say oh, Jesus, you've done this to me! Mike! Are you leaving me here? Mike! Me lose them. Oh, Bob, you'll give me my thank you for you. I swear to God, I'm going to collect my thank you from you. How? Oh. Hmm. She's even oh, a prostitute. God. Get your hands up, right? Your mama. Your mama, mama. Heavy post. You know. Get your hands off me, Mom. Get, get, get your hands off me. Mom, you got no red. Oh, Jesus. You got no red. This is your video. Oh, really? Let me say, no, no. I'm going to kill you. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I'm not leaving you until you give me my money. And where are you coming from? I'm coming from the studio. Studio? Yes. You left the studio at about 12 p.m., so don't lie to me. Well, um, I had to go see a client. Well, since when did you start asking me where I went, where I'm coming from, and what time I'm coming back? Or don't I have the right to come back whenever I please? You do. You're not a prisoner in your house, but I am your wife. At least I should know so that I won't worry. Yes, ma'am. Don't use that sarcastic tone on me, ma'am. Cynthia, have you had lunch? Are you hungry? Seems like you're in the mood to nag. Do you want to start nagging? I'm sorry. Sir, I
You only have few people. My number one, number two. See people, people. For your love, people. I go shuku, shuku, shuku. He can't be a no fool. Say you do me, people. Ain't a feeling in me, people. So easy, easy. It's a pretty thing. You know I like it so. You are children are okay. Your first one is a full grown man, has a business of his own. Wow. And he has even settled down. Really? Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. It's been so, so long without them. And I miss them so very much. <sighs> Alexis, I have to thank you for taking good care of my children. Thank you so much. <sighs> True friend and brother. What are friends for? We're for each other. I'll see you. I see, I see, see you, woman. Love me, look at me. Have you told all our medicine I've not been able to bring myself to do it. Hmm. You have to let them know. You just have to let them know. You made a mistake by not letting Millicent know when you got married to her. Fine. But remember, there is no secret under the sun. You've kept this secret away for so many years. For how long will you be doing this? You have to let her know. I'll try. Even the woman in question has got married to another man. Happily married. So why are you keeping this away from me? It's not going to be easy that I'll, I'll, I'll try. You better try. Your children are all grown. You will explain to them the circumstances that made you not to tell them. They are grown and they will understand. Tell them the reason why you did not let them know. Listen, all that have children don't climb the fence. They don't climb and leave the children behind. If not, the hawks will come and feast on them. Do that to yourself. So you are now office gossip, fighting on the road with another woman over a man. I say I'm sorry. You're sorry. You are sorry. How can you do such a thing? Have you no regard, no respect for yourself? Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. I'm, I'm Mike. Millicent Jackson. Yes. Yes, Millicent Jackson. Uh, nice to meet you. Same here. Do you want to ask Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, peace. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, but you shouldn't be getting yourself with those kind of necks. That's why you don't turn on the road? Um, I, I did. You know what? I promise it's not happening. No, it won't. Because you won't have the opportunity to do that. You will not be when you stop being silly. Jackson, nice to meet you. No, very nice to meet you.
delivery. I didn't, you know what, just ask him to come in. Sit. Good day, Mrs. Jackson. You, what do you want in my office? I, uh, I was, uh, I guess. I don't want your gifts. No, I'm sorry, uh, I think someone's trying to support. Get out of my office! Ah! Ah! Yeah. Oh! Oh, no, I, I think it's your uncle. Yeah. Can you spring your uncle? Oh, my God! God! No, try, try not to have high pressure on it, okay? Um, you should get ice, ice and... Uh, you know what, the pain is too much. Get up your cause this fight. I'm sorry about this. Fine. Okay, oh. in, in that case, if, if you really have to, then I should... You, you can, you can try to do this. What will happen to my car? Well, your car will be safe here. Well, if your uncle will be safe if you stress it, okay? So, uh, they drop you. It's, it's harmless. Tomorrow or later, you can come pick your car, or I can even come back and pick. Really? Yes. Mm. I don't think we should stress. Um, I have a business call. Right? Is that why you requested a video call? Uh, I'm not flattering you. You're uh, you're actually beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and who is making you laugh like that at this ungodly hour? Ah, oh. uh, Madam, can I, can I call you back tomorrow? Yes, thank you very much. Please take care of your leg. No problem. Good night. Did you see me on the phone? I am not a woman beater. Next time you see me on the phone and you interrupt my call.
Well, I was actually thinking to go out for lunch. Babes. Babes. This must be sick. Why the insult? Very sick. Your mother will be sick. It's like something is wrong with you, right? You've lost your respect. You and I were supposed to meet yesterday. I was waiting for you. You did not show up. I was clearing things up. You were clearing things up. Right? You know, I, I, I've always treated you like a gentle man. Treating you like a lady. But obviously, you don't deserve it because you keep acting like a brat that you are. You had an appointment with me yesterday, you did not show up, you did not call, you did not text. And you just walk in here today like, like a beauty queen. And when you there, go, can you leave me that? I do not for lunch. So is that a bad thing? In my office. Excuse me? Get out of my studio. Mike! I'll leave. I'll make sure you come to bed. You are a very beautiful woman. Oh. Your husband is lucky to have a woman like you. <laughs> You are yes. such... Yes, look, look, any man that has you is the luckiest man alive. You really are a sweet old girl. No wonder my niece was killing herself already. <laughs> what? <laughs> Michael, what? I want to shoot you. Sorry? Shoot? Yeah. Me? Sorry, I'm I'm a photographer. <laughs> so I see things differently. Ah, okay. I mean I wanna have a photo session with you. You're beautiful. God, I can't I can't imagine meeting someone as beautiful as you and allowing it to waste. Let's do this. <laughs> My penis. I wanna put you on the cover page of a magazine. Who well, I'm a mother, not a model. Well, who said anything about motherhood? You're beautiful, that's what matters. And the world to celebrate you. What if I don't want the world to see me? That's easy. How about I celebrate you in my private gallery? You understand? Why? 4 p.m. tomorrow. Why is your face like this? Babes, can you imagine that I've been trying this idiot number, Mike, and he's not picking up my calls? What has he done again? I wonder. Did you catch him with another girl again? <laughs> That's not a new thing. She always catches him with different girls. I'm even sure he's with another woman right now. That guy likes girls too much. Hmm. What are your plans? Just watch and see. This is no longer love. This is foolishness. Manti was right all along. I will teach that idiot what a lady is capable of when she's hurt. This is not fair. Just calm down and be fine.
This is so wrong. Yet it feels so right. Cut the crap. I know you're married. How do you know married? Video call? The lady? I did my research. Very smart one. Mm. Well, the fact that marriage doesn't change the fact that I'm genuinely attracted to you. Hmm. Am I niece? Are you niece? <laughs> it's your attracted to. We both knew there was nothing, you know, strong between us from the first time. I okay. see. Yeah. I feel so sad. <sighs> this is the first time I've cheated on my husband in all my years of marriage. Well. You won't have cheated on your husband. If everything was right at home. Besides, you and I are both married. So no one gets to know. No one sees anything. It's late. I have to go home. Well, I don't talk you. We'll talk about it later. I'm pregnant. It's yours, you have to take responsibilities. So what do you do about it? Simple. Take me to your family, start preparing for a wedding, and start a life. Well, you know that's impossible. It's not happening. What do you mean? Take you to my parents, that is, that is that's impossible. It's not happening. Okay? So what are you saying in essence? I bought it. No, no, Mike. I'm not taking this child. I'm not aborting this child. Uh, it's simple. I mean, there are so many single moms out there. You just join them. Do it yourself. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what to you? Are you taking it off? Are you keeping it? Are you aborting it? Alright. Child, you have your interest in the thing. Okay, fine. Um, okay. How much are we talking about here? 500,000 here. 500,000 here. Yes. Half a billion naira. Yes. Very mad that you are possessed. 500,000 naira piece. Something is wrong with you. How much do you have there? 300, I said 500. Oh, well, please. I was you'll be happy. I'm being benevolent enough. Look, there are hospitals in town where they do this thing for 30,000, 20,000. I'm not going too far. You can go to Semeboda. There is this uh, lookout drink they call the soup. 100 naira, 200 naira. You buy it and flush out that bastard in your squad. Don't stress me. Okay? I'm being nice enough.
I'll come back in my bus. What do you mean? You know what? You're your own worst enemy. How? Alcohol, erectile dysfunction, they don't go together. You refuse to take your meds. You're not taking care of yourself. Look, you might be happy with having sex once a year. I'm not. Are you talking to your husband like that? Yes, I am. I'm talking, if you won't take things seriously and you won't be responsible for your actions, yes, I will talk to you like that. Millicent, are you talking to me like that? Yes. And I will continue to talk to you like that until you take responsibility for your actions. it what is it you can see i'm watching tv what do you want please hear me out i should hear you out <laughs> mike i know it's not been easy living together as husband and wife but please can we start over and make this work if you don't love me anymore, I, I will understand. But for the sake of our born child, let's work something out. I beg you. Since I, I, uh, I don't understand you. I honestly don't understand you. You said you want marriage. Okay, now you're married. What else do you want from me? My blood? I want my husband, Mike. I want a man who understands that I am pregnant with his child. A man who will care for me. Cater for me. Love me. I want my husband back. Husband? Everything you just mentioned now is just a pure houseboy. You should have told me, you should have told me what you wanted was a, was a houseboy. I would have ordered for one for you. I don't want any houseboy. Mike, I want you. At least I love this unborn child. Then stop that nonsense. Stop that nonsense. I did not force you into marriage. Rather, you forced me into this rubbish that we have right now. So live with it. Okay, if you want my honest advice, if you really need my honest advice, so you won't say Mike is wicked, you need a rest. Because you look like uh, all these cockroaches that have, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, leprosy. My... Excuse me, my friend. Get out. I want to pass. Excuse me! If I touch you now, they say I'm beating pregnant woman. Mike. Mike. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you just have to let them know. You 
made a mistake by not letting me listen to when you got married to her. Fine. But remember, there's a new secret under the sun. You've kept this secret away for so many years. How well, long will you be doing this? Yeah. Ah, good afternoon. Good yeah, afternoon. So I was going to be very fine, thank you, Dad. Very fine, but I'm stressed. Um, I see you trying to keep yourself busy. Well, sometimes as an adult, you've got to take time. Relax, think. Relax and think. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Dad, what are you thinking about? You have everything you ever wanted. <laughs> Not exactly, son. But that's a story for another day. Well, if you say so, I'll just go upstairs and I'll take a shower. Is mom around? Okay. Mom! Mom! I'm home! Mom! What's wrong? Why do you look like that? What happened? Is it true? Is what true? That you're all over town for looking at my boyfriend. For all over town? Ah, peace. It's not what you think. Oh, Jesus. So it's true that you've decided to cheat on your husband with my boyfriend? Can you lower your voice? I won't. Jesus. You are so shameless. So shameless. Young daddy, watch how you speak. You're unbelievable. How would you do this? I thought you need you wanted to help me. If you're not willing to listen, you can get out of my office. <laughs> really? Yes, really. I should leave your office. You heard me. And say so you're sleeping with my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll come back. Let me and now, let me warn you. Don't go around opening your mouth and yakking nonsense. Hmm. I will say whatever I want to say to whoever I want to say it to. I'll come back. Shameless woman. Mike, there's a problem. What was it? Sit down, sit down, sit down. What's the problem? Please. She went for a day and three days yesterday. And now she'll be rushed to the hospital for several complications. And she told me I'm responsible for her pregnancy. Yeah, that's, that, why that, that's by the way. What's wrong with peace? The doctor said she'll be fine. But they need some amount of money. Okay, how much are you talking about? They're demanding from 400,000 naira. Hundred thousand naira. Yes. That's ridiculous, man. That's too much. Hundred thousand naira. No, 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 no. I mean, it, 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 it's too much. Did you try pricing them down? We can't price. You have to try and price them down. It's a family. They cannot sell you four hundred thousand naira. You pay four hundred thousand naira. You price them down. It's a family hospital. And you know this. Please, you have to try and do something, please. That's all I have in here, okay? So carry it and then let them find ways to make it happen. 100,000 naira. Yes. But this is not enough. Carry the money to them and, and I'll come later and see if I can bring the balance. I suggest you don't come. You know if a family doctor see, you he might want to pin the pregnancy to you. And she doesn't want her family to know about all this. 
The witch is fine, then you can come and see her. So I can at least tidy up whatever issues I'm on ground right now. Two hundred thousand naira. I'll send my candidates to you so you can. Just go, me just money. please go, go. What's going on? Not being the best husband. So I want you to forgive me for my attitude towards you. I want you to start again. Start over as husband and wife. A chance. This is what I have always wanted. I have something to tell you. Okay. Here. Um, I don't know how to go about it. Um, okay. I... Son, I have always taught you to be honest and truthful about whatever you do. Correct? Yes, then. And because of that, I'm going to be honest and truthful with you. Okay. Um, well, Dan, is there a problem? No, 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 no. I just want to share something with you. Um. For so many years, I have been harboring a secret that has put me in this present predicament. 
I, uh, I, I can't keep it anymore. I, I, need, I need to tell you this. I, I don't understand. A secret. Uh, what's the secret? <sighs> I have another family outside. What? Dad? Have you been cheating on mom? No, 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 no. That's not, that's not it. I, I have not been cheating on your mom. Uh, listen, listen. I will tell you all about it, okay? At the right time. I just want you to know that I feel very guilty for keeping it all these years without telling you and your mom. I feel very guilty. But I also want you to know that I do not regret having this family. When I tell you all about it, you, you will understand what informed my action. <laughs> tell you, darling. Is there a problem? There has been a problem before I call you. No, no, um, it's just uh, it's very late. Where are you? Aren't you home? Yeah, my head. I was lying down on the bed thinking about you and I decided to give you a call. Yeah, what about your husband? Yeah, he's lying in bed. And I just, you know, I thought about you and I wanted to give me some of that good stuff. You have to leave the way in tonight. Ugh, that's torture. You're my baby. <laughs> okay, I have to go. I'm supposed to be having my bath. So, talk to you later. Mom? Good night, dear. Good night. <laughs> I'm so worried about you. How could you try to kill yourself? Why would you do something like that? I'm sorry, Mom. I, I didn't mean to do it. Um, if only you know what's eating you up. What? Talk to me. Tell me what's eating you up. What is it? Nothing. So you can't talk to me again? And your mother! I, I don't want you and dad to have issues. Oh, so this has something to do with your father? Yes. Well, if you don't tell me, then you're betraying me. Why would you, why would you say such a thing? Huh? Spit it out. Okay, um... Dad has another family outside.
Mom, what's going on? I've been looking for you everywhere. Are you okay? I'm fine, I just need to sit here. Yeah? Mom, yeah? are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? I am fine. Oh, I didn't get you up. <laughs> I don't want anything. You have not eaten for days. At least a cup of juice will not do anything wrong. I am fine, trust me. Things when I'm okay, I'm okay. Mom, you make me feel guilty that I told you that secret. Look, there's nothing for you to know. Everything is good. Okay? You say so. I say so. But, but what are we going to do? We can't just allow an imposter just come into the family like that. <laughs> Trust me, I have everything under control. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Very sure. You well, promise me you won't tell daddy what I told you. Promise me you won't tell dad that you told me. <laughs> You know, I'm curious. I just want to know what's your plan. What do you want to do? <sighs> Don't worry about anything. Sit back and watch while it unravels. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's why you're the best mom in the world. Mm -hmm. I have this handled. Why, mom, if you say so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. Now I know why all the girls won't let you be. Oh, uh, that's why you make sure I don't have time for other women. Yes, just me and your wife. <laughs> well, now you successfully kept me to yourself. Mm -hmm. What does the future hold for me? Everything, anything you want. As long as it's just me and your wife. So what about your husband? What if he finds out? <laughs> Let me worry about my husband. Hmm? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So... I was thinking that maybe you should show me that magic again. <laughs> mm. Are you ready? Mm. Mm. Yes, I yes, I <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yes, I she will. Mm. Time is it? <clears throat> Like where are you? You. Please try again later. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. The number you dialed is switching off. Like you promised. Hey. God, what have I gotten myself into? What? Can your numbers be switched? Oh. Hmm? The number you dialed is switched off. Please do. Oh, God! Something too. Mike. Mike. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Um, I had a meeting with a client that ran really late, so I just decided to stay up against it. 
and it didn't occur to you to try and call home, considering that we would be worried about you. And then you had to switch off your phones. Jackson, look, I am not in the mood for this question and answer session, okay? I have had a hectic day. All I want to do is rest. Please. Are you talking to me like that? Yes. Mom, are you leaving already? Yes. Why are you so early? Not even a goodbye peck from you. Mom, what's going on? Not been taking your attention lately. I have work. Work? Mom, you're hardly around. You barely come home at night. Mom, what's happening? Are you having issues with that? Of course not. No, no, no. Everything is fine. It's just this new client I have. He gave me a really stiff deadline. And I'm trying to meet it, that's all. Nothing else. <sighs> Hope this will all be over soon. It will be over soon. Is that a promise? Promise? <laughs> oh. Make sure you have breakfast. The most important meal of the day. All right, Mom. Bye. I love you. Hey. Mm, thank you. Aren't you having any? No, I still have to clean up the kitchen. Jackson, we need to talk. Okay? That's all right.
Well, it has happened. Just take it easy, eh? We can't query God. He knows why. Hmm? Okay. Right, eh? Take care, eh? Take care. <sighs> Mom, when you said you were going to take care of that problem, was this it? Of course not. No, I would never do anything to hurt your father. All I meant was I was going to confront him with the facts. Your father died of a heart attack. Are you sure? Of course I am sure. So are you really asking me if I killed your father? No, no, no Mom. Forgive my curiosity. I was just... Trying to know if, you know, if you didn't... No, I didn't! I'm sorry, Mom. I would never do anything to hurt your father. I'm sorry, Mom. I miss him so much. Mom, I miss him too. I miss him. What is this? What on earth have I done to you, man? Man, what have I done to you? Tell me, what have I done to you? What have I ever done to you to deserve this kind of treatment? You are melting out on me! You don't care about me! You cheat on me with everything in spirit! You don't care if I live or die! How am I? Maybe I don't love you. Maybe you're forcing yourself on me. I tried everything you wanted to do. I tried, but it's not working. It's not connected. I don't love you. You have forced yourself on me. Why do you lie? I was on my own. Yes, I was on my own. I have concluded that my life with you would be like this. Why did you beg me? Yes, why did you beg me? Why did you give me hope that we could make this work? Why? Yes. My. Hi! You must stop shouting like a mad woman and face the reality of it. Am I going to my life? Love you. Don't, 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 Please don't. You are killing yourself when you look at you. Also yourself with the fact that you have to live inside your stomach. Stop hurting yourself. Someone. Oh, your mom gave me access. My mom? Yes. <laughs> your mom. Uh, she, she said, um, you look a little bit like me. <laughs> I don't look like you for any reason. You're Paul, right? I'm like, yeah. can you imagine you are sitting in my father's position and you're feeling very comfortable with yourself? <laughs> How would my mom give you access into her? A room, and she does not introduce you to me. That's true. Well, uh, people like us do not need introduction. I mean, it was special. And besides, I help her with special duties. What? What, what are you doing? Can you imagine, Mr. Why do whatever you call me yourself? Hope you're not here to make trouble. Me too. 
But you, you can call me Mike. Mom! Uh, no, Mom! Don't, don't imagine to me. I can't imagine! Mom! 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 Oh, wait! Wait! Mom, I, I have nothing to tell you. Please. Mother to son? Did you act like a mother when you brought in that man into my father's house? It's, it's not like that. What do you mean it's not like that? It's like how, Mom? You make me regret everything I have ever done to please you. I might not be the best mother, but you, you are perfect, please. Mom, you make my heart beat. How can you sell yourself so cheap? Right under my nose, you brought in another man into my father's house to have sex with you? I'm sorry. Okay? I'm very sorry. I, I will make it up to you. Mommy, you can't make any adjustments. You can't make anything up to me. Do you know what I mean? I want you to end your relationship with that man. And that's fine. You're my father's wife and no man should come close to you. Okay. Um. Yes. Stop. I know you don't want to stop. <laughs> Okay, see, why don't we just 15 more minutes and then I go. My son, my son will soon be back. You have to leave. So now your son needs to get used to the fact that his father is dead now. And I'm the man in the house. I'll have to talk to Oh! Ah, yes, so, um. Yeah, I would, um, I'll see you later, right? Of course, yes. Yeah, but, yeah. um, just. Uh, let's talk uh, um, in the office, yes. Sure, 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 that's a good one. Uh -huh. uh, Paul, you're back, huh? Oh. Seems like he had a bad day. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, I need to go now. He's going to his room, so we can go to his room. Alright! Don't miss me. Mike. Mike, I want to talk to you. I am leaving. What is it? You heard me. I am leaving. This marriage thing isn't working. So I want it to end. Next weekend, I'll be moving my things to my father's house. With me. Is that all you have to say? So you dressed down. You dressed up. Came all the way downstairs. Expecting you to beg you to stay back. Wasting your time. If you want to leave me. I'm not surprised. No. Oh. 
Yeah? Missing for days now. We have to do something. Your son is what? Missing for days now. I don't think your son is missing. He must be somewhere. Yeah? Don't worry. Oh, okay. Oh, let me know as soon as you have any information, please. I'll do that. Paul, give me the direction of where you are. Okay. I'm coming there now. How long have you been here? I've been here for quite some time now. And how long do you intend to stay? For as long as I can. Paul, I understand you your situation. You don't understand how I feel. Mm. Mm. Dr. Felix, you have no idea how I feel. It is easy for you to judge a man for his wrongs, but you don't consider what options he had to choose from. You conducted the autopsy in my, mm, my father. Why are you withholding reason from me? That's exactly why I'm here. I don't know what issues you have with your mom, but I am here to tell you that your dad was not poisoned. I poisoned? How much did my mom pay you to tell oh, me this? Get off that. No amount of money can buy me off the truth. Your dad was suffering from erectile dysfunction, which is caused by depression, and he suffered a heart attack that led to death. If you say he was depressed and had erectile dysfunction, how did he give birth to me? And that is where most people get it wrong. There is a huge difference between erectile dysfunction, low sperm count, and... Uh, Premature ejaculation. You see, people that suffer from premature ejaculation and low sperm count can't find it difficult having children. But at the end of the day, we know that infections and high sugar level cause all these. But, but how come nobody knows about it? That's, that's the issue with most men. Most men are shy about this. And they end up taking pills to hide it away from their families and loved ones. Did you ever bother to know why your father was always moody and, um, and um, taking drugs before sleeping? I, I, I know he takes drugs, but I just felt, you know, it was to help him relax and something, you know? Of a truth, it may help him to relax and also to be able to perform his role as, as a man. But the issue with men is that they forget the problem instead of solving the problem. The reason I'm telling you all this is because I, I see you're trying to store up bitterness in your heart. I do not want you to go the same path your dad went. The truth is that your mom loves you. And there is so much in the future that you can hope for. Forget about the past. Look at what is in front of you and grab the future. You're a young man and that's exactly how to do. Oh, yes. Um, Dr. Felix, I sincerely appreciate you for coming. And thank you so much for telling me this. I really do appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll keep in touch. All right. All right. Yeah. to get your things and get out of this place. Hey, baby, what happened? Don't ask me that stupid question. 
I said, don't touch me! Don't ask me that stupid question. Get out! Get out! Get out! Just get out! Get out! Get out! I don't want to see you. Nonsense! Get Get I don't want to see you. Get out! Get out! Get out! The best mom in the world. <laughs> Welcome home. Hey. Mm. <coughs> How was work today? Oh, let's see. Work was um, hectic. And then it was uh, hectic. And then it was uh, stressful. And then <laughs> hectic. <laughs> but extremely rewarding. You know what? I honestly need a massage. Ready? Now? Like, right now? Are you offering? Son, Dad, I need to attend to my wife's needs. <laughs> so much information. <laughs> so please, do mind waiting. Don't mind your dad, we're leaving. <sighs> um, make sure you go to bed in the next 30 minutes. Too much TV, not good for your health. Come on, Dad, I'm not a baby. Good night. Good night. About that massage. Good night. Who's that? I just said, I said, get out! What? What is it? Come on, why do you, why do you chase that girl out like that? Um, where is she? She's in my room. I mean, I came to find out why you did. What? She's out uh, because I am uh, not saying you did. Life begins like that. It's uh, Tony, I think I, I want to go home. Exactly what I have been thinking about. You need to go home. That's what I've been thinking about. Why did you say so? Paul, you need to go home. You know why? Because you need to go get the documents of your family's property. The document of that house. You need to go get it before your mother will lead to that boy. That foolish boy. You get the house documents, I'll look for buyer for us to sell. Once you sell it, I'll prepare a booking listen for you. Yes, I'll prepare, I can do the arrangement for you. Once I prepare in less than three weeks, I'll prepare the paper for you. Then you're off the booking. That's it. Seriously? That's it. You know, I, I, I think I like this idea. Good. Serious, I need a, I need a carry talk. I need to get legit and factual information. I'll just dish them out to you. You know, it, it's not good to trust him. No, no, no. Especially those with bad influence. That's it, bro. That's just it. Thank you. I don't understand. What do you mean, don't understand? You know what, Tony? Get out of my room. What is the meaning of that? I said, get out of my room before I do something that you and I will regret. It's all right. Get out. It's all right. It's all right. I'll leave. It's all right. Tony, please. Now. It's all right. Leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Just leave. Tony, Tony, leave my room. Tony, Tony leave. leave! And don't come back! Don't come back. It's okay. Baby, it's okay, I understand. Don't worry, my boyfriend will talk to him, okay? I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. Stop crying. <laughs> Um, listen, baby, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You'll be fine. I just been talking to him and I think he's cool. Don't worry, I'll still talk to him later, huh? You'll be fine. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Baby, um, I don't need any cash. I need to go settle the receptionist. I need to pay for our rent. Oh, baby, you actually forgot. My, I was robbed and the card was stolen. 
It's okay, baby. Okay. Don't worry, you'll be fine, eh? It's alright, it's alright. I'll be coming to you. Alright. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Just... Dad. I know this is not the life you wanted for me. Sad that you're not here. So sad. I know life itself, it's, it's a misery. Nobody can predict life. Dad. One's happiness is at the expense of others. I'll make a promise to myself and to you. I will open a new page in my life. And I will be the man that you've taught me to be. I miss you, Dad. I miss you. think that uh, happiness is dependent on the amount of wealth you have. You know, but I just discovered that material things will make you worried over f fraud, thieves, imposters. In fact, wicked family relatives. Hey, why are you sounding like this? I am a victim, you know, and um, you know, I just used to think that happiness is dependent on the amount of wealth that you have. Do you know what I realized? <laughs> Reality check. I just discovered that it depends on the people around you. This is about your dad again, right? Yes, it's about my dad. And since he died, I have been so sad. You know, I feel like I'm lost. Hey, come on. Do you need to give us here some time? The wound will be healed. I know it will heal, I know, but at least I'm happy that you are beside me. I'll still have a drop of joy. Trust me. Come on, baby. So, how is your mom doing? Well, my mom is fine. She's okay. And uh, guess what? What? She has finally ended her relationship with that guy. Wow. I mean, that makes me happy. At least she needs to move on with her life. Well, yes, I know she has to move on, but, but what? not now. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous, right? Of course I am. Ah? Uh? You can say that all over. I am jealous. You must dig the If I have the opportunity, I'm ready. Come on, why don't you come into the water? Mm-mm. Come on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mom? 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 So you're pregnant? Answer me, goddammit! Mom? You're pregnant for that gold digging idiot! So, Mom, this is your plan. No, this is your plan. To kill my father and bring your lover to inherit his property. 
Oh, no, Mom, it won't work. Of course not. I didn't kill your father. Huh? No. Mom, I knew it. You, you were lying from day one. My father made a mistake and he accepted it. But you, devil, I know that your lover is involved in this. But you know what? Tell him. Mom, you should tell him. Tell him that he's dead. <laughs> but I can strangle you. Follow me. me! Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! Where is your heart? Where is your husband? Where is he? Husband is the devil. My he sleeps with my mom and he gets pregnant and he tells me, Paul, I'll be back for you and I'm here now, I'm here. Where is he? Where is your husband? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, my God. 